Hello everyone. Now it's time to talk about drawing our character for the walk cycle. Now I've got my sketchbook out open here, got my ruler, and I'm going to set up my guidelines the same way I did last time. Then I'm going to measure down three inches from the top and down and go ahead and put myself a, uh, a ruler line. So I've already got it lined out uh, lightly for you here. I'm going to go ahead and mark it out three inches down. And then from the bottom, I'm going to have one inch up from the bottom. Okay. And that's right there. So let me go ahead and mark those up, make those a little darker for you. And then I'm going to go ahead back in and start working on just drawing the stick figure itself, just the stick figure. So there's my head line right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and draw in that baseline and make that a little bit, a little bit darker there. And with this, like I said, go back in and draw the stick figure and not put any of the uh, features in of the character. I'm not going to worry about um, putting in any of the, of the body part at this point. There we go. I have that set up. Now, if we look at the image above, we have the five images up on Richard Williams' walk cycle chart. And we have the four poses of contact, down, pass, and up. From those four poses, that's what we're going to use to make our walk cycle work. Now, one of the things that's most important is that we always want to make sure that our character looks like they're standing on firm ground, which we have that. And then we have this line of above, which is basically the headline. And this line gives us that, that uh, height in terms of we're not going to make our character go any higher than what it is right here. So let's go ahead and first start off on this. The right on the contact one, I'm going to start off with, I've got my head. And my head is right here at the top of the headline. And you notice that I've got it right at the headline. I'm gonna go ahead and draw in that neck. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw in the body. Okay, there's my body drawn in or my torso. And I've got myself at a slight 45 degree angle. I've got my left arm here, which is starting up here at the uh, arm socket, I'm drawing back out. Halfway down the torso, I mark in where the elbow is going to go. Then I go down the rest of the way and right below my uh, torso, that's where my hand is going to go, just like it looks in the picture. Notice that the hand is bent back. Now I'm going to go to the front arm, and that arm is starting the exact opposite side here. So I don't draw, and then I start here. All right, if we go across, that's going to be midpoint on my uh, chest again. So I'm going to put in my elbow, and then draw in my upper, excuse me, the upper part of my arm here, my uh, upper and lower. And then I've got my hand, and it's moving forward. Now I've got the legs to do. And we notice that the leg that is making contact is actually the heel is on the ground, and this is the leg that's closest to the viewer. So this leg right here starts up above, up in the base of the torso, comes down halfway, make my knee joint, and then I'm going to come in and oops, switch my pencil out and draw in the shin bone, the lower half. And then the heel of that foot, this is very important, the heel of the foot that's making contact with the ground this is what has to be right there. That's my first thing right there, okay? Now the back leg, the leg that's behind the torso, you notice this line is black in your image and it comes up behind. This one's gonna go, if I went right here, starting right here, come down below, that's where it's gonna come right out there, the base of the torso. It's kind of angled back a little bit. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put in my uh, my bone, right, my, my knee bone there, and right, knee joint, and I'm gonna put this at a 45. And you notice the back of my heel is pointed at a 45 going down and away. And I'm going to go ahead and put in that foot. And you notice that the back of the toe here, the toe is bent. So I'm going to go draw in the front top of the foot and then I'm going to bend the toe. There we go. So now I have my first pose. Okay. This is basically what we call the, this is the contact pose, right at my first pose. So now I can go back in and I can go ahead and flip this over. I'm going to put a new page down. And I'm going to go ahead and do the next step in this. Okay, so pause. So you can see I've taken another sheet of blank paper, and I've gone ahead and I have traced right over the previous line above and below to go ahead and make sure that my top and bottom lines are parallel and are nice and straight and the same height as my first layer. My first layer is down below, and I can see through my page and see where my body is and where the features are for the character. Now I'm going to go ahead and draw the down pose. Now for the down pose, I'm going to keep the character exactly in the same spot that it's in. I'm not going to move it anywhere, except I'm going to adjust the height of it. And because I can see through my page, I can go ahead and do just that. 
So right now I'm going to go ahead and drop down the head itself. So the head, let's use my better pencil here. <laughs> my uh, head here, I'm going to go ahead and drop that head down. And I'm going to go ahead and put it down. All right, and there's my head shape, and I'm putting it down. Because what's happening is when we take that step down, what's happening is the torso is, is coming downward, right? That torso is coming down, and I need to be able to go ahead and mimic that shape. Right, get that, get that torso to come down. Because so I don't want to shrink the torso, I want to move it down. Because I'm going to be going ahead and setting myself up my character so that my character has having a down pose. So now I've already gone ahead and done that. And by lowering that down, uh, my character, actually, I'll maybe even pull that down just a little bit further there. Okay. Now, what I'm going to do is to bring it down. Now I have to go and bring my pose in, bring the, the drawings of the arms and legs down. So my arm now, which starts, we know here, is actually going to tilt upwards a little bit higher. So now it's tilting up a little bit, and I put in my elbow halfway down my torso, and then I'm going to extend this out even further, right? Um, and then go and put in my hand, right? So my arm is going down, it's extended out. My front arm is going to do the same. So I imagine here, come forward, and then I'm going to extend this one out, right? It goes about halfway down, and then I'm going to go ahead and extend my arm is up also, but now certainly my hand. Right, that's gone down. And now my legs, there's a bend in my legs. So this leg, which is in the front, is still close to the viewer. So now I'm gonna bend that. If you notice too that um, if you look at this, then in your in the picture there on the down pose, notice that the knee is in line with the elbow, right? So I look at the base of the elbow, you go straight down, and I go, oh, okay, well, that's where my knee should be. So I wanna make sure to go ahead and bend that knee right there. So I'll move that knee up a little bit. That's gonna come into this point. And then my foot now is going to be down, and it's going to be almost at a 45 degree angle, almost. Well, maybe about a uh, 60 degree angle, just a slight angle. And I'm going to go ahead and put that foot. It's down flat on the ground. And this back leg here, now this one is tilted back a little bit. So this one's going to be back, kind of come out of the same spot here. I'm going to come down about halfway, as I did before. Put in my knee joint. But now I'm going to go back, and I'm, this leg right here, this, the back calf is going to come back. And I have to be careful of the angle I put this at. So I want to get this just right. And go ahead and maybe angle that just a little bit more. There we go. And am I close yet? Not quite. Because what I want to be able to do is I want to get the uh, the toe. And that's really careful, important on this one. To get the uh, down pose, you want that toe of the back foot to be on the ground. So let's see if I go ahead and I put that foot down, put it back up, and down. I think that's about where I want that leg to be. So it's always good to test this out. Make sure you get what you need there. There we go. That is better. There we go. There's my knee and there's my leg. There we go. And so you look at proportions. So plus if I look to at the heel, note the heel, the foot and back, right? It is lining up with the toe. And now that you look at it, I need to tilt that toe back. So it does have to go a little bit higher. So I'm going to go back like this. And that foot comes out, and then it's going to come back and forward, knee and back up. So that, that's important. Getting these poses and following these poses is really, really important to this. It makes such a big difference in what we're doing here. So actually, I'm going to go ahead and adjust that one more time. And like I said, feel free to do it on yours too. You know, if you need to go back and adjust something, please do. I'd rather see you adjust it than not. There we go. I like that angle much better. There we go. Okay, good. All right, so we've got the right angle. So what's important, notice that, notice that this foot on the on the down pose is tilted back, and the heel lines up with the uh, fingertips, and we've got the knee lining up here, lining up with the elbow in the front, and you notice in the front here, Notice that the toe is not further than the fingertips. So make sure that fingertip is out in front. Don't let the toe get any further than that. Okay, that's gonna be really important. So now we're at the, what we call the down pose. We've come down below that line. 